Hello my beautiful Scorpio and welcome to your love reading for late July 2022. I hope you're doing well. I have done a pre-shuffle and this is what I'm sensing regarding your connection, okay? You're coming out with the energies of the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician in the reverse, Two of Wands in the reverse, Two of Pentacles and Queen of Wands in the reverse. Cards like the Magician and the Queen of Wands in the reverse are telling me you're feeling a little bit disempowered right now. Um, this card here, Perseverance and the Ten of Pentacles, is telling me that you are prepared to do whatever it takes to solidify this connection and, you know, lay the foundations to set this connection up for long-term success. But you know that it takes two. So you're lacking a bit of confidence and you know that it's going to take more than just your perseverance, just your commitment, just your dedication. Obviously, there's two people in a connection. So you're feeling like um, it's up to the other person. It's up to the universe. There's only so much you can do, right? So you don't know what the future holds. Two of Wands in the reverse. Um, you're you know there could be some concerns about where this is going um but i feel like you're trying to ground yourself in the present moment and you're just trying to do whatever is necessary to as i said solidify this connection as much as you possibly can so perseverance is saying i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to that's your affirmation so i feel like you want you want more balance within this connection. Um, and so I feel like I'm hearing over to you. I'm hearing over to you. It's like you're saying to your person, if you want this long-term commitment with me, um, I'm, I'm here. I'm all in over to you. That's kind of what I'm hearing here. Your person on the other hand, now I haven't shuffled tarot cards for them, but their energies are coming through with empathy and adversity so this is good this is telling me that this person is trying their best to understand where your fears and anxieties are coming from what your concerns are and the two of you may have come up against some some problems recently with this adversity card um, your person is starting to see the arguments and challenges between the two of you um, while they're uncomfortable uh, and while they're very triggering, they're enabling the two of you to grow um, and understand each other more. This person is accepting that the challenges are the best way to learn. So you, you still are kind of learning each other's boundaries and trying to ascertain, you know, and clarify with each other what the two of you want moving forward but yeah this person is doing their best to understand you and and Scorpio we are very complex very complicated mysterious people it's not an easy task but this card is saying that your person is open to seeing both sides of the situation they're doing a lot of reflection which is good I mean if this person wasn't interested in building a solid um, uh, connection with you, they wouldn't bother reflecting. Um, so I, I'm liking this. I'm seeing progress. Okay, so let's have a look at what the tarot says is going on for your person. I might use a different deck actually. This one's a little bit hard to shuffle. Um... a new deck actually from Etsy it's like a it's a dark rider weight um, tarot deck I don't know if you can see the cards properly but um, let's see yeah they're definitely doing a lot of thinking where I cut the deck the hanged man in the reverse see how their cr crown chakra is highlighted let's have a look they don't have all of the answers yet. They're still learning from some of the challenges that the two of you have encountered, okay? Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is Scorpio's person's energy? What is 
this Scorpio's person's energy, please, in late July 2022. Good. This person wants to do what's necessary, King of Wands. They have the, uh, the strength and the willpower and the desire to do what's necessary in this connection. You know, the King of Wands is a card about leadership and action. Judgment. Yeah. Um, if the two of you went your separate ways, um, if the two of you broke up, um, there's going to be a second chance here with the Judgment card. But again, they're using their, their judgment. They are um, judging the situation. Um, and they're being called to you. It's like... Um, that they're very drawn to you, Scorpio. But definitely the judgment is, a, is an energy of resurrection. So I feel like this person wants to resurrect things. They probably want a second chance if the two of you did go your separate ways. Show me, please, your Scorpio's person's energy, second half of July 2022, please. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to hold on to this connection, but also they're holding back a little bit, which is interesting. There's a bit of caution here. Um, I definitely feel like there's, there is an element of imbalance in the connection because we saw the Two of Pentacles in the upright before, and it's come out in the reverse position. I was feeling a bit breathless when I was shuffling the cards for your person, so I feel like they're a very busy person. They might find it hard to time, manage, or prioritize, okay? Um, we have the King of Pentacles, so I definitely feel like you can depend on this person. They say what they mean, and they mean what they say. All right, so um, they're doing their best to, to show up for you. Um, What I'm feeling is uh, some of them might um, have some fears around commitment due to um, they feel like they feel like uh, relationships restrict their freedom. Okay, we have the Emperor in the reverse next to the Two of Cups in the reverse, so they feel like they're unable to make um, they're unable to make decisions about what they want to do, where they want to go, um, as much as they would when they were single, when they're with you. Okay, so the, the Emperor in the reverse is telling me um, they feel the relationship might yeah, restrict or control them in some kind of way um, when they're used to being like the executive of their life and, and their schedule. Um, yeah, I'm just sensing with the Emperor in the reverse, they feel um, like they lack autonomy. There, there are divine counterparts here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, although the Queen has come out in the reverse position. There's the imbalance, okay? One person might be more established within themselves in this connection. And that doesn't need to be a deal breaker. It just, it's a challenge. Okay. We also have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So we're going to clarify that. They, they just definitely see this relationship as being hard work is what I'm seeing. And it might come in the way of their social life. Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay. They see it as a lot of effort. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, and they, they're they trying to understand you and what you're wanting to see if the two of you are traveling in the same direction. This could be they don't think that they could live up to your expectations. Um,
Yeah, we've got the Wounded Warrior here, the Nine of Wands. This suggests that the two of you have gone through a bit of a trying time, okay? Um, but I, I'm definitely seeing a return here. We have the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. So I definitely feel like this person charged back in. Um, they do want to offer you more, but I feel like they might suffer with um, fears that maybe it's not going to be enough. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse here. They're wondering whether they can, you know, um, uh, take this on. It's going to demand a lot of their energy. It definitely feels like um, the two of you did kind of transform this relationship. Something major needed to change. And I feel like it was uh, necessary. Um, and look, we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Maybe it needed to come to an end for the two of you to, to really um, get to the bottom of what was going wrong and sort it out so that to give the two of you the best chance for a happily ever after. That's what I'm getting. The other thing is Scorpio. Um, you put an end to things with this the death card um, because this is what you're you're wanting you, you're not stopping at anything less than the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles and it could have been um, kind of this person might not have been matching your efforts is what I'm getting with three of pentacles in the reverse and the six of pentacles Okay. Yeah. Right. It definitely feels like the two of you abruptly ended things with that death card, but there was unfinished business. The two of you felt like um, maybe it was um, a knee-jerk reaction. Um, the two of you had some time apart with this temperance card. Um, the two of you really thought things through and you understood uh, what needed to change in order to have a new beginning here with this Ace of Cups. Codependency could have been an issue with this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and this temperance card. So the two of you needed to kind of realize um where like what was going wrong what who was giving too much and sacrificing of themselves um that wasn't the other person's fault maybe you were sacrificing yourself scorpio um and it just left you feeling fatigued and drained um and unappreciated but you know you did that off your own back the other person wasn't expecting that of you, you know, so that's what I'm seeing. All right, so let's have a look at Scorpio. Um, what's coming between the two of you? Second half of July, 2022. What is the main challenge for Scorpio in love? The world in the reverse. Incompletion, maybe you're still, um, you know, figuring out how to end that karmic cycle. Whoa. Okay. Mm, too many cards fell out then. Okay. Who's coming in between Scorpio and their person that was out there? It's coming in between Scorpio and their person, end of July 
Okay, definitely an imbalance. The Six of Pentacles is here again. So you need to balance the giving and the taking here. The Star, interesting. Um, there's a need for healing. This is a healing connection. So if you can persevere through the trials, through the tribulations and the triggers, um, I definitely feel like the two of you can get on the same page and, and move in the same direction. The chariot in the reverse, three of cups in the reverse, um, friends, um, the need to kind of maybe have more fun in this connection, maybe make it not too serious, right? Let's see what your simple love advice cards say. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What's the advice for Scorpio in love, second half of July, 2022? As I said, why so serious? I feel like you need to bring more fun and play and laughter into this connection. So it doesn't have to feel like hard work. So it doesn't always have to feel like sacrifice. Um, you've got what's yours will be yours. So, um, you know, that's the need to love someone in, in a way that makes them feel free. Don't, th don't keep them on such a tight leash right? Because what's meant for you will not pass you by. I feel like Scorpio, you need to overcome your fears of, you know, this relationship uh, not going the distance. No, there's no guarantees in love or in life. So we kind of have to trust the divine a little bit, trust ourselves and just see what happens. Don't sacrifice yourself too much because it will only lead to resentment and it will only lead to, um, uh, feeling drained and exhausted. We sacrifice of ourselves when we feel like we're not worthy, when we feel like we're not deserving of love. We are more than enough. Just as we are, we don't need to bend over backwards to overcompensate for anything. So you need to stop giving of yourself too much. You're really good at making the other person feel worthy and you're really good at feeding their self-esteem, but it's coming at your own expense. So you need to stop draining your energy, you know, conserve it a little bit for yourself. And um, this relationship might come back into balance a little bit more. Okay. So let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. Angels and Spirit, what is Scorpio's love message for late July 2022? What is Scorpio's love message? it up and you have poised okay so clean it up is talking about um, the need to um, yeah there's work to do in this relationship obviously it says time to clear the air take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind okay so clean up your communication um, Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics, see what's yours and what's not yours, and clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Interesting. So it's about getting to the core of a situation, freeing yourself from a burden, 
and sweeping away what is no longer needed. Okay, nice. Then poised is talking about um, when you're confident and happy in your own skin, you're ready for a deeper, more intimate relationship. You have nothing to prove right now. What did I just tell you? You are worthy as you are. You don't need to bend over backwards to convince this person that you are um, good to stick with and for the long term. And, and by doing too much, that's not going to save you from ending up with someone who will inevitably leave you. You've got no control over that. So you may as well just be yourself. You are, you've got nothing to prove now. You are completely yourself and you can handle anything. Love, friendships and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. Um, okay, interesting. So you know what you need to do. Um, challenges have armed you with wisdom and knowledge. So... Um, people will be responding to your newfound confidence. Um, they will be uh, more trusting of you because you're being 100% yourself, right? So uh, this is good. I feel like progress has been made here, all right? Um, let me know if this has resonated with you in the comments section. That really helps me. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.